it's Sway here back with another video and today I have the review of the Lego Creator Townhouse Pet Shop and Cafe set number 31097 ages 9 and up and it brings 969 pieces and this is the 3 in 1 set it retails normally for I believe $79.99 but I got it at a very good price of $59.99 sorry no $49.99 so yeah that was a really great 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 deal 30 bucks off was really great um i love this set um obviously i had to back up the camera a little bit more because the box is way too freaking big to be in the set um but here let me give you a closer look at the box all right so that's the front part of the box right there has a little bit of detailing of one of, it shows you all three of them i actually built the first one obviously um i like the design a little bit more um, but obviously it comes with three different kinds, which I definitely love every single design. Um, there's one of them of the second one, and then here's going to be the third one for you on that. Um, as far as the top of the box, there it shows you again the set number and the Lego logo right there, and the three different kinds that you can build just from this set. And obviously it kind of gives you a perspective on the size of one of the pieces. Um, here's the second part of the well sorry left side of the box depending on how you're looking at it and then there's the part right here of where you open it third one there's a life lego.com um and the lego creator set logo right there and the bottom of the box just the just the barcode and different languages right there warning you of choking hazards and then here's a lego creator set lego right there again i'll give you a little backup and then here's going to be again some of the features are bring some of the different things that you can do um obviously since i built this one these features kind of go for more my set but if you would decide to build this one definitely here's the features for that preview of that right there and then if you build actually the other part of it and then he's gonna be that for you which I actually like it it kind of gives you a little bit of a trolley right there um but yeah that's the box right there and let's get into the set all right and here we go with the first build um of all of the three obviously um this is actually my first I have to say Lego creator set as far as it being this kind of scale of build um, like I said, I've never really had a Lego set that has 369 pieces. This, um, I started since I started collecting again. This is my first one, so it definitely took me a while to build. But the detailing is definitely, definitely very good on each part of the building. Each building has its purpose. Each building has its own theme. Um, but let's just start right here with this corner of the build. Um, let me get some good lighting on that for y'all. All right, so right here, we're gonna start off with the cafe. Um, definitely love the detailing on this. Um, got the little fire hydrant right here. Um, you also got the little light post, a little detailing trim around the actual windows. Um, got a little bit of flowers right here. Um, flip it around to the other side. You also got some windows here. Um, definitely they used a good variety of colors for each of the buildings to uh, differentiate them from different parts um but yeah definitely the detailing is really good so let me get you an inside look as far as here but let me just give you a good look on as far as the outside before i give you an inside look um and then right here if you can't tell you actually got the menu which is an actual which is surprising they have actual printed pieces but yeah, these are actual all printed pieces. Anytime you see one of these um, pieces in the set, they're all printed. Definitely love that part. No stickers included. Um, you got a little pot of flowers. Um, little cro croissant with a uh, little table right here with two seats. Got this old build tree right here. Um, definitely they incorporated Technic pieces on that, which I definitely love. Um, little tr tree part right there with a little build of a little bird. Um, only thing I don't like about this set is that they actually don't have actual animals. So like the dog right here is an actual build build. Um, so obviously that's going to be included in the piece count. But, you know, definitely a good, still I love a good, good build. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, yeah, let me give you a good look into the cafe. 
All right, and we got here the inside look of it, and not too shabby. I mean, of course, the faces are a little bit too tight um, as far as perspective of us, minifigure size. I mean, it would be a great little cafe. Um, you got, obviously, the little door right here. If I can open it, there you go. And then you got the little light right here on top. Um, that's an actual printed piece right there for the register. You got a little seat. Um, you got the table, you also got room to fit two, or maybe about one or two minifigures right there. And then you got a little detailing right there. Um, but as far as like anything special about the cafe, there isn't really too much as far as the inside build. Um, but like I said, I love, I actually like this build more than the other three. Um, for the only reason of that everything is detachable. Um, it's very easy to put back and it's very easy to take off. Um, so the second floor, here we go with a little bit of apartment. Got a little patio with a little detailing out here. They incorporated these grill pieces very nicely. Um, I've never had this piece as far as in the Lego set, but definitely love that they're actually print, uh, doing these kind of pieces. Definitely adds to the detail of the uh, patio got some flowers with some leaves um, You also got some detailing around the window. Um, I've never seen this piece So it's awesome that they actually incorporated this piece into it. Definitely love it. It's a nice Nice build. It's actually got like I guess you can correct me if I'm wrong kind of like a cream yellow I can say um, But yeah, let me give you Push that out give you a little look into the inside of it if I can. Actually, what am I doing? This comes off. Pop that off. Pop right there. And bam. So you got a little bit of a cabinet right there for you. And you also have right here a little sink with a, a stove top. You actually have a pan um, right in there that's an actual printed piece um, for the oven count. You got a little bit of plant right here. And this door right here that actually leads out to the patio. Um, and then on the outside, you got more windows, detailing around the windows, definitely. Um, got some leaves and some flowers. Um, but yeah, I definitely like this color. I've never seen this color myself. Um, as a Lego builder, I've never seen this color, but I definitely like it. It's not too bright. It is not too dark. It's that cream color. Definitely a great color to add to this build. So let's pop that back onto there. Let's go on to this part right here, as far as the roof um yeah a little bit of uh, uh flowers right here i'm guessing these are actually going to be carrots once they're fully grown right back here you actually got scissors it's actually scissors to me they're scissors to me they're probably a lot easier to cut the plant with um but not too much detailing up here um simplicity is definitely the best as far as something like this nothing too complicated um they actually incorporated these parrots um, completely white piece um, also that new piece right there they incorporated it too um, the detailing with these pieces I've never seen before definitely like a good slope angle definitely love it um, but yeah much detailing goes into this build but like I said everything is very easily um, detachable as far as you are taking off but um, yeah that's it for the first part of the building give you an outside look again um, gotta close that door right there. Give you another three minute view. All right, all right. So here's gonna be the other part of the buildings, the car, I guess, plaza, you can call it. Here's gonna be the pet store. Um, very good detailing of what they used. You got the little sign of theirs with the little bird and also the dog. Um, you got a few toys out here, like balls and some bones. Um, you got the little cover over the door. You actually even got like a street light. Um, very cool. Definitely attaches to the building, which is even better. Got a little bit of an ATM right here, which is that this actually opens, which is really cool detail. And then you got the door. All right, so let me give you an inside look. All right, so here's the inside of the pet store. Everything is actually pretty easily removable. Here we got a little bit of a fish tank. 
bit of fish in there, just one, not, nothing too complicated. In here you got the cash register, um, nothing printed on here. Um, you got a little, bit, a little bit of tools down there, um, I believe. And then you got right there the little uh, parrot. Like I said, everything is built, nothing is an actual figure. So it really can't be counted into minifigures, but they definitely are counted into the piece count. Um, as like there was a door right there, and yes, I also have the ventilation system up here. Um, definitely like this blue, not gonna lie, I wish I could see more of this blue. It's not too dark of a blue, I guess. It's not too light either. Um, it's in that in between, almost coming out of a teal, um, going into like a dark blue. Um, it's very nice. I like how they incorporated it. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the pet store. All right, and then here is the, I guess you call the apartment building on top of the pet store. You got the, here, the cafe logo right here. Definitely a good build. I love what they used. Um, you also have the street light, which is easily uh, movable to move back up when you don't need to be using it. Um, this is pretty cool. A little good detail that this actually slides to the side. So that way you can have different styles as far as on the building. Um... But yeah, I love how they use these sliding pieces right here. Um, definitely a good build. Uh, definitely good an idea. Um, but yeah, windows all around. And then here's going to be the inside. Um, here you got like a whole brick wall right here on the right side of it with the little couch. Um, fits too many figures. You also got a little pot with a plant in it. And you also got this part piece right here, which is actually printed of a racing GT. Um, little bookshelf right there. But... Like I said, some being simple goes a long way, and I love what they did with this build. For 969 pieces, they really took advantage of every single part of this building, and they incorporated it very nice. Um, I think like the most thing that I like about this part right here has to be this this little sliding, I guess, blinds. Definitely a great, great add of detail, you know? You don't see too many builds with that, but that's definitely great. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next part. All right, and on to the last part of the buildings right here. This is the top part on top of that one that I just showed. Um, same thing with the um, blinds right here. I definitely love this build. It definitely includes a good amount of detail towards it. Um, this one has windows all around. It actually has this door right here that you can open. Um, which the crazy thing is that the roof is actually detachable, but I'm gonna detach that in just a moment, just to show you a good view of it. Um, you got the two little plants right here, um, nice little patio, and you got the inside of it. If I can just show you that with a good amount of light. You got a little bed right there. You got a little light, nice stand with a little light and the actual phone, which is pretty cool because that right there is an actual printed piece. I've been loving that they've been using that, especially that now that the Lego hidden side has been coming out with the phones, they've been printing out those pieces a lot more. I'm guessing there's a solar panel right here. Um, I love this little roofing thing that they did for the little patio right there. Um, love how they incorporated that. Um, definitely a great build. Um, you got to hear the little uh, AC unit. I'm guessing I might be wrong, might be right. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, here, here's good. It's attached to a little light right there. Um, that attaches that little, uh, little light is actually to light up the little cafe logo right there that they have. Um, but yeah, this right here, a um, little bit of uh, piping, I guess. Um, this actually connects to the top of that building right there. So let me just show you that in a sec. All right, yeah, so that, yeah, this is basically connected by one Titanic piece, and then that's connected by that piece right there. You just go ahead and click that in, and it connects it all together. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a great build overall. I'm not going to lie, this is like one of my first sets I've had something of this scale. But um, I love this set, definitely. But now, let's get to the minifigures. All right, and these are the minifigures that come with the set. There are actually three minifigures in total, not included the ones that are actually built, like the dog, the birds. Um, but as far as minifigure-wise, these are the ones you get. You got here, 
you got one of them right here for you detailing is really good on his shirt um nothing too crazy and you got a little back detailing right there um comes with a hat there's a space decal right there very simple um detailing on these minifigures nothing too crazy and you got her with the little short legs um get you a better look at her detailing on her face got with the sunglasses i'm sorry glasses not sunglasses what am i saying then you got the little vest right there and the build back detailing um so that's her right there and you got the last minifigure oh my god that's a great way to do a review there's him right there with actually this money is supposed to be in the atm right in the back right there that's actually supposed to be in the machine but i just took it and i put it out in his hand um that's a deep printing in the front printing on the back no double face none of these makers have double faces um many figures which is not that bad um but they do bring a lot of extra pieces and move these minifigures to the side. Um, but yeah, this brings quite a few pieces extra. Um, it also brings a tool, depending on what set you get. Obviously, each set comes with different pieces, but I can, I got different pieces as far as set-wise. Um, but there, these are the extra pieces right here. Comes with a separating tool. Very handy, definitely. So then the last, 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 last part of the set, hot dog stand. Um, it's actually run by him. Um, easy build. Um, definitely love it. It's not that hard of a build. That My girl definitely helped me out building this set. Um, but yeah, easy build. Hot dog on top. A little bit of ketchup and mustard. A little bit of uh, seasonings. Got the ketchup and mustard uh, bottles right here. Um, got a hot dog, which I actually got an extra winter dog right there. Um, but yeah, the detailing on this is very, very, fu uh, very fun, very outgoing. It's very popping, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah. Oh, another thing. The booklet is very, very, very thick. And I'm very uh, talking like this thing comes with. 355 that's 354 last page is this one right here and it comes with 355 pages it explains to you um everything every single build um definitely a very thick booklet very very thick construction booklet as you can see back here um but yeah this is the set right here overall not gonna lie very good set um, for the price that, well, that I paid, I'm definitely glad that I got it. Um, but yeah, I look forward to making a different kind of the different builds. Um, I might keep this one for a while, but I might build a different kind maybe in the next day or so, but just depending. But um, yeah, hope y'all li like the review. Definitely smash that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below and also subscribe if you like this review or any of my content on my channel. And I will have more videos coming up soon. But yeah, this was Sway. Logging off. See you on the next video.